Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain. Through this video, I'm just gonna explain how to resolve a Boto 3 exception related to the region not defined. So, if you are not aware what is Boto 3, Boto 3 is basically an AWS SDK which is a software development kit written in a Python so that whenever we are in need to interact with the, any of the AWS services programmatically, we can utilize this Boto 3. Right. So there are many services, you know, almost on a daily basis you need to interact with those services programmatically like EC2 instances, you know, the storage like S3 bucket or the RDS instances or let's say a network related resource like PPCs, you know, it's your subnets and all those stuff, right? So let us let me first uh, briefly explain the setup process of a Boto3 on a Windows machine and then we are going to see how we can reproduce that exception which is related to the no reason error. Uh, then we're gonna see how we can resolve that quickly okay so the very first thing which we need to do is to set up our Boto 3 as pip install as I mentioned it's a Python library so you just need to install a Boto 3 which is already installed on my machine the next thing which you have to do is you have to install a AWS CLI so for AWS CLI also you can utilize this pip install AWS CLI and you have to make sure you have a correct version of Python and you can just see on the AWS documentation I mean which version you know you need to have to install a AWS CLI with the pip but if you want you can just log into AWS uh, uh, website so let me just quickly show you how can you do that it's very straightforward you just put how to install AWS CLI that's it and the very first link you will get from the AWS itself right so just click on it and here you can here you have two versions you know you can install with the MSI and if you want to install you know uh, with the pip that also you can do right so installing the AWS CLI version 2 CLI version 1 right so you can just go through the documentation and you can understand it let me just click on this version 1 right so here you can see we have a MSI installer that also you can use but I always love to have the pip one so pip 3 installation AWS CLI that's it you have to do right so if I just go back to uh, again CMD and if I just put AWS version I should be able to get that Right. Uh, let's see, I have 1.171, Python 3.76, right, so AWS is done, then what you have to do is once this is done, either by the MSI installer or this pipe install AWS CLI, you have to just put this configure, the moment you will put that configure and trigger, hit, you, you will be prompting to provide your secret key, you know, those, there are two kind of key which you need to uh, provide here, right, so those keys basically i cannot i'm i'm not gonna show you right but uh, once you do once you do that setup then what happens is uh, basically the access key and the secret secret access key which you have to define here and what would happen the moment you are done with this right so you will just go to your uh, directory that your specific user directory you will see this dot w a s w dot w a w s you will be having this config and the credential inside the credential your uh, access key and the secret access key gonna be stored right so now what happens is when you do so it asks for the default reason also if you haven't provided then this config is not having a reason information at that point of time you will get that um, issue right so this is done right so just see what I have done is um, intentionally I haven't given any reason so I just trying to import a Boto 3 so because that has already been installed uh, let me just start from the beginning so Boto 3 has been installed AWS configuration is done you know if I just put import Boto 3 and then if I just creating a client Boto 3 dot client and let's say I just wanted to hit this EC2 service right so you can see we are getting this bootable exception no reason error right to, to resolve this what you have to do is you have to create this config file 
right so you have to just keep in mind this config file name right then you have to just put default okay and then you have to just define like this reason equals to whatever the reason where your EC2 instances are lying. So for me, it's US ES, US ES2, and it completely depends where your account has been set up. You can save this, right? And then what you need to do is you can just go back to the ideally, uh, in my opinion, uh, I would just you know close them and uh, start my IDDL again so that whatever the changes I made that gets uh, that comes in effect right so again I'm just going to import uh, go to three then again I'm just going to create a client object by using go to three dot client and I have to pass this two and I should be able to run this see so that error has been gone now you can just do whatever you want to do with this object so let me just see i mean for now you can just refer the documentation and see how many methods are there what all things uh, you wanted to uh, see right so there are a lot of methods whatever you can think of you need to uh, do with the aws resources it's very comprehensive very good uh, in my opinion it's very good library because i utilize this library for doing a lot of automation work, lot of manual intervention I have to do because I am having a lot of AWS resources to whom, with, with whom I have to play, I have to set it down, I have to restart it, I have to create a new one and I always use this go to three library so you can just use all these methods, you can create your own class uh, based on whatever the business case or whatever the problem you want to solve or whatever kind of automation you want to do with AWS resources right so that's it from my side for this particular video but if you have any feedback or suggestion please feel free to put that in the comment section and if you want me to just come up with a tutorial series for a Boto3 like how uh, Boto3 specific method can be utilized to achieve a different different purpose which we uh, require almost on a daily basis so please put that in the comment section and if I got you know the enough boat or enough viewer for such tutorial then definitely i'll just create it so that's it from my side and as always stay healthy keep watching uh, uh, my videos not only my videos but wherever you feel that you are getting a knowledge so just uh, like i mean keep watching keep learning a new stuff and stay healthy